The unmarked army delivery van was blown into the air and landed facing the direction from which it had driven in this, the latest in a series of IRA borderland attacks. The two soldiers were lucky to escape with their lives. The landmine was planted by a water trough for cattle, which this eyewitness had been heading towards. And while I was climbing over the gate to go to lift them, I was blew off the gate with this terrible explosion. And the noise of it rolled right away up the valley. The mine was detonated by command wire and security sources say two men made a getaway on a motorbike which either broke down or crashed. They ran nearly a mile to a farmyard with the intention of taking a car. The men, both hooded, did find a car here, but there were no ignition keys. They approached the farmhouse, but were confronted by a man with a shotgun. It's understood that they warned him he was covered from behind. Police haven't given details of what exactly happened next, but an MP who's a close friend of the man who pulled the trigger visited the farmhouse and disclosed tonight that this was the version of events he was given. He challenged them and warned them not to come any further, but they kept on coming. Uh, he, he then challenged them again and told them that uh, he, would, he would shoot if they came any further and would come to take over the house. Certainly was afraid of those who were in the house because there was nothing else, only women in the house. Finally, the men raced towards uh, the young man he shot the terrorist. The, the person is not a member of the security forces uh, and uh, all he simply was doing was uh, guarding his home and the safety of his uh, family. I think that's commendable. Police did not recover a weapon from the injured man who's said to be in a critical condition. His accomplice is on the run, and in an area already teeming with heavy security, another manhunt is underway tonight. Andrew Simmons, News at 10, County Tyrone.